Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, good morning Congressman. Uh, really appreciate your efforts here. And you know, I just want to make a couple comments. Um, just this morning, early this morning, as I was getting ready to come to the Capitol, I got a phone call from a dairy farmer who's at the end of his rope. And he said, I got to sell. And he's, he's asking for my help, you know, to generate some leads for him. And I, I think what the people of Pennsylvania need to understand is that when a dairyman comes to the end of the line, he's not just going to sell land and buildings. He's selling a generation's worth of work into, uh, that he put into developing a herd, uh, a herd that produces well. So I can't emphasize enough how important it is, all these efforts that we we're taking. I, I commend you fellows. Um, the, the other thing that you touched on in your last point, and I'm from Lebanon County where the 97%, the, the round bill advertising, uh, some of that started, and I, I, I gotta tell you, I smile from ear to ear. Every time I drive by one of them, I'm, and they're, they're putting them in the right place, you know, the visibility is great. And that's great that the dairymen are doing something to help themselves as well, because you can't always look to government, because we operate so slowly that your emergencies are over and done, and they've taken their toll by the time sometimes we can get to action. We do everything we can, and, and we're behind them 100%. But I, I think what you touched on when, when you were answering uh, Representative Zimmerman's question is very important. We, we often hear, and it's not just in, in uh, you know, when we're talking about milk fat, well, we often hear, well, the science is settled on this. We have to be very careful when we legislate based on, quote unquote, the science is settled. Because if you remember at one time, the use of leeches medically was settled science. You know, science always changes. It's, it's a constantly evolving thing. And uh, you also touched on earlier in, in your opening comments about, you know, getting the USDA to actually enforce its own regulations. You know, the, the, and we, we have this problem here in Harrisburg too. The relationship between the legislative body and legislative intent and regulatory agencies. We've got to get that back under control so that we in the legislature or, or the regulatory agencies are actually carrying out our will when we wrote these bills, when we made these policies. So. I just want to say I appreciate your efforts very, very much. Um, it's too late for some of our farmers, unfortunately. But it's very important for the people of Pennsylvania to understand that once the dairy farm stops operating, you can't just open that dairy farm up in a day. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes a long time to develop a herd. It takes a lot of investment. I mean, this poor guy, he's. He's, uh, he, he's desperate now. And unfortunately, one of the things that I think he might be tempted to do is to sell off to some developer who's going to build, you know, a, 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 a tract houses, that sort of thing, which causes different problems for our local municipalities when it comes to taxes down the line, that sort of thing, sprawl, all that sort of thing. So I think it's very important, everything we're doing here, and, and, and I just wanted to commend you both for coming here and showing your utter support uh, no pun intended, uh, for, for the, the dairy industry really in, in Pennsylvania. And, and, you know, because we are in some cases at the emergency stage. So every little bit is going to help. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative. If I may, um, Representative Diamond, I, I understand how important it is to develop a herd. And so my step, my stepfather was a farmer and, uh, he had a dairy herd at one point in time and had to sell his herd. So it is uh, sort of personal with me, you know, the struggles that the farmers are going through. And, and they have my commitment that we'll, we'll be on top of this and move things as quickly as we can. So thanks for your comments. Hey, I just want to say thank you to this body, too. I mean, you all have a long history of passing great legislation, you know, to protect and preserve farmlands. And, and I think that's consistent. I mean, it, to me, that's just insightful. Because if you want a security issue, whether it's for the state or the national government, it's food security first and foremost. And so what you've done, and it is hard. I mean, I take those phone calls. I, honestly, I, when the, the dairy situation wasn't really good when I first was elected in 2008, sworn in 2009. And one of the leading statistics when we would talk about dairy that was just broke your heart was the number of suicides by dairy farmers. I mean, it because it, this is their life, uh, that, that's their family's legacy. And, 
and um, you know, and the fact that you know they've they're they're really at the end of what generations have done, um, and so uh, so I want to thank you what you've done for the pres preservation of farmlands, um, even if they're sitting idle and sitting fallow for a period of time. And then I think what we all need to be thinking about, especially given the average age of dairy farmers, <laughs> which is uh, it's getting up there actually, probably about age 57, 58, maybe a little higher at this point, is what can we do for young and beginning farmers? What can we do to help somebody who maybe didn't grow up on a dairy farm, which is a really tough transition uh, to, to make that bridge, that transition into dairy farming? Because we're always going to have a need for farmers. And, um, and the fact that you're preserving some of this land with the good work that you've done, uh, again, it may sit fallow, and, and it's hard to watch the auctions. It's hard to, to watch those operations close. Um, that's a reality that happens during difficult times. Uh, we need to figure out, as times get better, how do we get that next generation of farmer uh, milking. And that's the utter truth as also. That was very good, actually. <laughs>